Even 40 years on, it is still breathtaking. Two, one, zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Three men strapped inside a small cabin on top of a rocket on a half a million mile journey to the moon and back. That's one small step for man. In essence, this vast undertaking was all about one thing, beating the Soviet Union in the space race, getting to the moon first. Forty years later, a national competition is still incredibly important. The likes of China, Russia and India are all talking about their future lunar missions. And yet some are asking an important question. What is the point in putting man back on the moon? By 2020, NASA hopes the new Ares rocket will deliver astronauts to the lunar surface and then beyond. No technology exists that we can, you can send somebody to, the, to Mars and expect to bring them back safely. We're not at that point. So use the moon as a, kind of a stepping stone to incrementally branch ourselves out into the solar system. That's what this is about. But the massive government budgets that funded Apollo no longer exist. And this week, the second man on the moon told me that America's new moon project is a waste of time and money. I, I fail to see the point why we would want, we, the United States, would want to go back and explore where we've been before. Who's going to get to Mars first? While, while we're doing something at the moon? I, I fail to see the, the, the logic of why we would want to do that. Still, for now it seems a new moon race is developing. The question is whether getting back there will be anything like as awe-inspiring as the first time around. Matthew Price, BBC News, at the Kennedy Space Centre.